in. I'm Guy. I'm back. Uh, I'm with the lovely Liz Simon, Michael Simon, Hello. this team, okay. this amazing team. Uh, that we, and we are so glad that you guys finally joined the family because we've been watching you on TV for years. We know yeah. you've been, you're such a huge part of everything that Michael does yeah. uh, in the kitchen, designing cookware and stuff like that. But we're really excited to have you guys. And, Thank you. And Michael has, a, a, and his wife have a beautiful line of, of uh, basically cookware, home, home items, uh, cutlery, stuff like that, that's called Simon Home. Um, we'd love to hear from you. This is the first time you guys have been back. Yeah, this is our second time. We're very excited. Yeah, yes. so so really excited to, to show you stuff. And what I love about what these guys do is they add great style. Michael obviously knows the, the durability, the cookware. Uh, Liz puts in that they all, you know, also has to be functional, has to look nice in the kitchen as well. Nice. Uh, we're going to start you off with a uh, four and a half quart enameled cast iron oval Dutch oven. And Michael, I asked you before, and just just real quick, <laughs> yeah, we're going to show you something. But well, while you're doing that, why did you why did you want to do uh, enameled? Uh, you know, a cast iron cookware well, first of all. When Liz and I were talking about it, we're like, the, the, the cookware that we use the most at home yeah. was cast enamel. You yeah. know, so it, it's what we always cook in. It's, it wasn't always super affordable for people. So we right. wanted to make it, Liz got a great design together, great colors and, and really how we wanted them to look. Um, but right. then she also wanted to get that great design yeah. with it. And, and, and it, it's so much more affordable than you see cast enamel typically. It, well, it is, because you'll spend a fortune. Michael's got something in the, in the oven. But. <laughs> well, I'm making a little bit of chicken and dumplings oh here. Oh my gosh for your morning. Pleasure. You know, when I think of cast iron, that's the kind of food I think about, but you can pretty much cook anything in you cast can. iron, right? You can, you um, can. We're gonna show you all kinds of fun things today. Okay. But um, this is just a real easy roux, chicken, dumpling, yeah. uh, vegetables. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Just for a little bit of color before I put Throw this lid on. Throw some peas in there. Throw some peas on. This is, this is great too, because you can take it, you can do this all stove top, right. or you can um, actually, Finish this in the oven once you get the dumplings in. It's really versatile. And then take it right to your table. Yeah. And it's going to hold the heat. It's, it's beautiful at holding the heat. One of the great things about cast iron. Michael, yeah, what do you right. got there? Well, this is what makes it so special. Is like Liz said, you could start on the stove. You could go to the oven. You could go to the table. And you could leave them out even when you're not cooking them because right. they're beautiful. So what I made for you is it's a little kind of like breakfast hash brown. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we got potatoes. We have zucchini. We have some oh beautiful uh, hash mean, browns on the bottom look. and fresh herbs. <laughs> now look. Oh, see, yeah. wow. here's the beautiful beautiful yeah, thing though that. about cast enamel <laughs> is you can see how it slides right out yeah so cleanup is a cinch too and now i gotta feed you because yeah, you know I know. You're looking a little gaunt to I've me. Been... We've known each other for a while. You're thinner than I'd like. I feel a little lean so, right yeah, now. So I, I haven't had good Michael Simon snack. food in about 10 years since <laughs> I, I, I mean, it was the last time we did a TV show together. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Let me try to scoop some up here. Well, and this is great, too, because it almost works wow. a little bit. It reacts a little bit like a nonstick pan without being a nonstick pan. So, you All know, right. and it, it, you mm. can beat this up. It is not. It's a forever pan. It's yeah, you get it for a lifetime. Pass, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and look at this. See, here's the other thing. This wow. is why we love cast enamel. That's why chefs love cast enamel is you get the great caramelization, yeah. you know, and you know, and it releases. So people always go, what's not, I, know, I need a nonstick, I need a nonstick, I need this, I need that. The, the beautiful thing about cast enamel is it releases like a nonstick, yeah. but you get caramelization that you could never get in any other pan other than a cast iron cast enamel pan because it heats yep. so evenly. This is a four and a half quart size. We were discussing ahead of time why we love that size because for our customer, you know, maybe you're an empty nester, you and your partner, you and your wife or husband, you know, you don't need a 10 quart or an eight quart that you may only use a couple times a year at holiday. Right. You want something that you're going to use on a daily basis. And not only that, an eight quart or a 10 quart, you need three people to haul that thing around exactly. the house. This is still uh, easy to be able to move around. It's got mm -hmm. helper handles built yep. into it. Um, Liz, talk to me about the design element of it. Why do we go oval? Well, I like I like the oval presentation. One, it's it's an easier storage right. component. You know, yeah. you can do, it, it takes up a little less space. I just aesthetically like the oval shape, yeah. especially in this size. Um, you know, it's got I this I think a lot of food is oval, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't have square food, right? right. right? Exactly. You know, it's either round or oval, I so. Mean, <laughs> this looks great just on your table. I actually yeah. have this blue color at home, and I also have the taupe. It's beautiful. But I'm I'm going to go through the colors. I'm going to yeah. go through the colors in just a bit. But I I, I, I know, and because I've known about Michael for a long, long time, you know, uh, cook, some cookware can be really tough to cook with. You know, if you get cookware where the where the uh, the base is too thin, or it's a, a different type of metal doesn't work on all stoves, and you're kind of you're kind of fighting the battle right out of the gate. Exactly. What's nice about this cookware, and Michael is so, and, and Liz are so right on it. It's a heavier weight cookware. Mm -hmm. Why is that good? 
because it retains the heat. You, oh, you, you don't get, it's not uneven cooking, yeah. it's right. heavy cooking. And I mean, right. this is great because you could use it on electric, you could use it on induction, you could use it on gas. Yeah. I take them outside and I put them on my grill because yeah. they're so dependable, you mm -hmm. could cook them on the grill. So it's really a pan that you could do everything in. And again, you could, it's a one, I'm a one pan man. Yeah. So yeah, dude. the nice, the thing I love about the oval is like Liz said, it, Aesthetically, it's beautiful and it's a little bit easier to store, but you can get more food in a four and a half quart than maybe a different right. shape. Yeah. Right. You know, I, so I could load it up. And also, the, the coloration on, stick it in the that oven. we did for the interior, uh -huh. this sort of dark, dark, deep gray, it, you know, one, it's not going to react to anything acidic. It also is not going to stain. If you do a tomato right. sauce in here, you're right. not going to get that staining that you would in a lighter colored Right. Base. Yeah, we've all had, we've had the cast enamel pans with the lighter inside. You make a tomato sauce, you yeah. never get it out. Right. It's mine. I have, right. a big, yeah. I have a big 10 quart red cast enamel pan, with and it used to be white on the interior, and now it's, now it's all red. It's like an orangey <laughs> red color on I, the inside. Yeah, uh, and you'll notice exactly. too something on when you're browning. Um, you can use a lower temperature heat because once this gets up to temperature, it holds on to it. You don't have to keep it on high the whole time you like you do right, with right. a lot of other pans. And Michael, explain the difference between this cast iron and maybe the cast iron that Grandma had. All right, so like the cast iron that, you know, we all, I, we have tons of those pans that we've saved, sure. that we season, yeah. you know, but those pans, you, you use them, then you season them, then you rub them with oil, you know. This right. is don't a, soak them in water. Don't, yeah, don't yeah. put them in water. Right. You know, there's right. a lot of rules. Yeah. So these are um, enamel coated. So they have the cast iron through it, then they're enamel coated. So you don't have to worry about the staining. You don't have right. to reseason them. You don't have to rub them with oil, bake them right. in the oven, all that kind of stuff. Right. And you could put them in your sink, clean them with soapy water. They're dishwasher safe, so there's a lot of things right. that you could do with them. They are, I think cast iron, I agree with you, the most versatile. When I have to cook a real meal, like something that I'm that I want to come out perfect every time, not an instant meal. Like sometimes you're frying an egg, you're not going to fry one egg in this thing. Well, you but could, but you it would could. have to be a big right. egg. It would have to Maybe be a, a goose egg, egg. ostrich egg, perhaps <laughs> something, on some sort of an emu or something. But you you wouldn't use it for that. You're going to use this for those great uh, family uh, meals and and right. and things like. You know what I'd love to is that you could do. Think about it. You could do what Natalie, what we're doing. For like one pot dish is like lasagna you're doing here, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking any sort of a whole chicken dish you can do. Well, yeah, do we have, the, uh, Liz, mac and why don't cheese. you go, go show them the dessert you oh, have yeah, brewing. Yeah, yeah. Like Liz yeah. has, actually, she likes to bake in it. So yeah. it's great because you could do savory in it, you could bake in it, you could do all these great things in it. She made a chocolate cake. It, it's the most versatile. And again, these are designed, and, we're, and uh, Liz and I will walk over and show you the colors in a sec. They're designed so that you can take these out and put them on the table. You want to see this. It's beautiful. It's hearty cookware. Kind of reminds me of like old school. Uh, it has kind of old school, but with all the new technology to make right. it user friendly. Well, I mean, the thing that, the, you know, when you buy a pan, side you here. when you buy a pan, you want the pan to last forever. Yeah. You know, look at this. Okay. Oh my now gosh. this you can is, a right cake? is a gorgeous little chocolate cake, which I'm going to finish. Now this is all, you know, one pan deal here. So. She pokes them whole. So she puts the cake in there, yeah. bakes it right in the oven. Now she's poking the holes in it. Why are you poking the holes in it? Because there's going to be a lovely little chocolate sauce. <laughs> are those holes going to be a little vessel for something that exactly. I'm going to be? Exactly. Some other. Oh, exactly. come on. Look at that. Look at, you know what? Chocolate needs more chocolate. More chocolate. <laughs> That's what chocolate needs. So we're just going to, and it's gonna, this is just going to fall in all those little holes. Oh, my gosh. Looks and crannies. Hey, by the way, I want to remind everybody, I have Michael Simon's cookbook as well. Uh, that's his Playing With Fire cookbook. Uh, wonderful barbecue ideas in there. You've seen uh, Michael's show, uh, which is Burgers Brewed. Burgers Brewed, uh, yeah, we have that fun. That is awesome I show. I eat entirely too much food. <laughs> and we run it all over the place. Anyway, he's got great ideas oh, there. Oh, God, look Liz, at you're that. killing me I here. Mean, I mean, right? You're killing now, myself. This so is the breakfast of champions right here. Is. Yeah. But again, a, like uh, instead of a spring form, I love this because it's scoop, right? Yeah. yeah, you can just scoop it right out. And so this is great to have, like, oh, we have company. Lord. And yeah, turn there you that go, bro. Oh, no, yeah. this is for you. Get in there. Warm oh chocolate gosh. cake with whipped cream. See, Oops. And, it, and it'll cook perfectly because of that nice, heavy duty cast material that's in there. You're not going to burn it. So, if you want to do a big, giant thing of brownies, or if you want to do an upside down cake, or, a, or a, you know, one of those. Right. Right. Yeah. And again, look at how oh it, it just so releases good. right out. That's just, yeah. it's ridiculous, right? I could leave you guys and just yeah. go eat this, but I can't. Yeah. You want to walk over and we'll show them colors too? I would love to. All right, okay. colors, all right. We're going to go over. So Liz, uh, explain to me, because Michael did a little bit, how you guys work as a team, because I love that whole idea. Well, you know, we, 
started working in the restaurant business many years ago. Yeah. And this is just, you know, we just, we have specific duties and responsibilities. Yeah. And talents. <laughs> and talents. <laughs> um, so we just, we collaborate well together. It's perfect. And I know you you have, uh, you work in the restaurants and do a lot of the design element for the right. restaurants. You also help Michael with the design element and, and creating of the cookware too. Right. Um, so this has, this is a unique finish on this. What do we got it here? It does. It's just got a little bit of a shimmer, just a touch. Um, yeah, kind of a speckle, a sparkle. sparkle. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks really pretty. I have to actually leave this out of my stove top because it's, it's not so big and cumbersome. Oh my gosh, it's and beautiful. It's just and and you're at your holiday, it's your best friend. If you want to do your mashed potatoes right. in there for Thanksgiving, if you want to do kind of stews stuffing. and chilies, that's what I love about the four and a half quart slices. There's really no limitations. Whether it's pasta, right. something you're going to bake, something you're going to uh, short cook, long cook, whatever it is, or if you have a lot of people to feed, it's still good enough. So it comes in blue, comes in gray. Or, this is taupe in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then finally it comes in burgundy right here. Yeah. All right, let's go back and see what yeah. Michael's doing. Right. So, And we got Katie here. We wouldn't be anywhere without yeah, Katie. Katie's doing all the heavy lifting. God for Katie. Well, look, Katie's making stuff. <laughs> so we made a, a little eggplant ragu here. Oh Onions, gosh, eggplant bro. ragu. Liz, I'm gonna grab the chicken. I want you to show them these dumplings. Okay, right, go ahead. Because the, this is like my go-to dish. I make this a lot, so. Look at this eggplant. And so you can do veggie. Hey, yeah, listen, you do whatever you want inside here. And I mean, look what? at this beautiful. I mean, these I'm are just. I'm surprised Shannon hasn't showed up yet. When she sees um, dumplings, she's usually, <laughs> I uh, know. she's usually at the ready. I mean, this is just. So all you did was just oh, scoop a little dough in there. And by the way, I, yeah. I've learned a short trick a long time ago that makes life so much easier is you can go and buy biscuit dough oh, and just, sure. you can just bring it up and put it in there I if you mean, don't feel you like could, making your you own. Could even use a, <laughs> yeah, totally a cheater. You could even use a rotisserie chicken in here. I mean, you could make this oh, a quick gosh. weeknight meal and then you've got this gorgeous pan so no one's going to know how much You've been telling you me you've been making this from scratch <laughs> yeah. for me on a weekly yeah, basis. Do. You've been lying to me. She's going oh, again. She's, 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 she's buying that little tube of dough and just right. like, oh, yeah. there, rolling it up. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working so hard roasting a chicken, you've been getting the rotisserie chicken on me when I'm not looking. That is yeah, so really good. ridiculously so good, right? good. That is such comfort food. It's unbelievable. Yeah, exactly. Listen. Don't be afraid of, of cast iron cookware gang out there, okay? Our price today is ridiculous. Uh, Michael and his beautiful wife were here uh, a while back. They launched their uh, their line here at HSN. It's been extremely popular. They're all customer picks already because, you know, this guy, he's not going to put his name on anything unless it's good. And same with his wife. From, the, from both sides of the coin, you're getting beautiful cookware that really, really works. It's $20 off. It's free shipping. And this is cast iron. It's not cheap to ship this because it's, it has some weight. It's substantial. If you're looking for feather light cookware, don't buy this. That's not what it's about. <laughs> feather light cookware is garbage, and you're gonna burn your food. And it, that's the twelve dollar fry pan you yeah. buy from the right. closeout store. Right. But you get a couple months on it, yeah, and then you, you get rid of it. Like yeah. I said, this is a this lifetime is pan. This, you know, exactly. people always want. Um, pressure cookers, slow cookers, all that stuff. Yeah. This was slow cookers before they ever existed. Right. You right. put it in the oven, you set the oven at 225, you, you yeah. walk away, right. you right. come back five hours later and it's right. ready. Yeah. This, is, this is Sunday after this. church, you put this yeah, in at a dinner. Absolutely. Right, then you're good. Yeah. I know. When Liz was getting that rotisserie chicken and fooling me for all these years, <laughs> I threw the chicken in the <laughs> oven. Sorry, but Liz. This is great because you could roast in it too. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, watch this that's for comfort. Gorgeous. Look at how tender it is because you look roast all it. The juices. It holds all the juices. Yeah, I mean. And then what I'm gonna do, Talking about comfort food, this is a little Midwestern, Eastern Euro comfort food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a little paprikash sauce. Oh my. So we're gonna put the paprikash sauce <laughs> right favorite. in that pan Ugh. that the chicken cooked in. So all those little goodies and bits are at the bottom. Finish sour it with some sour cream. cream. Yes. And instead of doing like a classic chicken paprikash, we just did a roasted chicken paprikash. And all in one pan, and there's I could drop the whole chicken right back in there. It's going to go in That's with all gorgeous. those juices in the gravy. And we are in so a good. very, very Notice, happy place. Notice, gang, too, every, all our burners are on low or medium. Once you, the, the cast iron comes up to temperature, it distributes that heat very evenly. So you don't have to worry about hot spots or anything like that. It's like, I mean, heck, even if you're cooking a steak, Use this rather than that that crappy you know stainless pan that's real oh, thin. Oh, yeah. You, you yeah. sear a, a filet mignon or, or a New York in there, mm -hmm. and, and then you can make your little pan juices and all that stuff. It I would use so this great. in a heartbeat. You know what else I love too is is look at the even that. heat because we're sitting here, we're talking, we're cooking, we're goofing around. We've had this on medium heat going. And look at the heat is wow. so evenly distributed. Yeah. Look what happens to the I chicken. Mean, look at I mean, perfectly crispy, crunchy that, that's chicken. That's a on a, right. on, a, yeah. on a chicken thigh. Look at that. Doesn't stick to the pan, releases Beautiful. right out, and be like, look, yeah. when, as a chef, 
The thing that we have that a lot of people never had at home is we have all the toys. Right. So when Liz right. and I came up with the line, we're like, let's make the toys affordable. Yeah. You know, when you come into our restaurants and you're like, how do they feed 300 people and sure. make it look so easy? Sure. It's because we have the right stuff. Right. Yeah. And, and you're not. And you're not. Really, you're not you're not slamming us with the with the price because you know. And let, let me tell you, I know you guys know and appreciate very, very, very incredibly good lion quality cookware that comes from France. Right. We yeah. know what it is. It's about four times the price yeah, if you want to buy five times. <laughs> if you want to get that. Yeah. And they listen. If you want to do that, so that's true. fine. But I'm like, yeah. Michael, this is the same. You make it the same. Way. Right. I mean, the, well, th those are the pans that inspired us. I mean, right. Those are Absolutely. the pans right. that we have bought. Those are the pans we asked for for wedding yeah. gifts. Those uh, are the yeah, pans yeah. We gave his wedding gifts. We can't gifts. afford it, but you somebody know? else got them. But, but yeah, so it, it was like when when we came up with this, we wanted to say, all right, where's a pan that, that are the ones that we always wanted, but now people could afford to have? Yeah. Exactly. It's ideal. All right, remember the colors that they come in and you see user-friendly. You